Hello ladies and gentlemen, Elijah Grimm here again today, and we're going to be doing a video on Materia Gambling. Now, someone mentioned this before, and uh, as I had told them, the market took a serious downturn, prices were at rock bottom, and the market was no good. However, this morning when I checked in on the Materia market, some people had been stockpiling like crazy. It's still early in the morning, materia prices are still good, so I'm going to go for it and try to earn some gil doing that. Now, I've done this in the past. It was really good gil before the market completely turned against me, and hopefully I can make some kind of profit. Fingers crossed, we're going to be doing a bit of work, but before I do anything else, it's time to check our sales. Now, let's see. <clears throat> Senna sale history. Uh, ooh, our dark vinegar leaf kit sold. 111,150 gil. Nice. Uh, the Mithrite goggles sold some of those. The raptor skin. So some of the vendor stuff that we bought, the crafting and gathering vendor items, those sold. That's awesome. Uh, some of our miscellaneous stuff, that all sold as well. Perfect. Wonderful. So in total, that will be 207 gil and 100, or 207,100 gil. There we go. We're almost halfway to 9 million gil. That's amazing. Now, 10 million gil was our benchmark before I decided maybe start a free company, buy a house, that sort of thing. Uh, let's see, Sanguinea, what did you... Uh, she did pretty well. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I got rid of some really good stuff. Uh, yeah, these prices were pretty good. So, what do we get in total? Almost 20,000. Good, 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 good. Alright, now. It's time to do something. And, uh, oh yeah, we got uh, the linen parasol and the apple tart. Those were venture items that uh, I just got, sent them back out before I started recording. Anyway, like I said, we're going to do something that I kind of don't like doing because the market is so volatile. We're going to be buying materia to get <clears throat> gamble that materia and hopefully get some high-priced materia. It'll make sense in a moment. So, materia 6. The base stats ones are going for pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to spend any more than, let's say, 3,000 gil on materia. And I'm going to snatch up the cheapest stuff I can find. And, well, 3,000 gil per materia. And we're going to need to stock up on a lot of it. And luckily, a lot of this stuff is priced whew, at near rock bottom items. Okay, for selling to a vendor, you get 1,188 gil. People are having it listed for 1,500. And uh, they're doing, you know, stacks of it, which, okay, fine, works for me. Uh, but we're going to be taking advantage of this drastic underpricing of materia. And we are going to go ahead and do something about this. Now, this is pretty risky showing people this because they could take advantage of it. They could throw a whole bunch of stuff up on the market and completely crash it. Now, I don't want that to happen. It would be really crappy if that happens to other people's servers like it has on my server. Uh, but yeah, I feel that... I would be doing a disservice if I didn't at least mention this and show a little bit of how it's done. Because in spite of everything, Materia is still a very good way of making gill, but like I said before, the market is easily flooded. Um, it's really volatile prices just whiplash back and forth and you can never be sure if you're going to get consistent gill just by doing this 
But again, like I said, I, I feel I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't at least mention this and show you guys a little bit of how it's done. So yeah, I'm going to be spending quite a bit of gill. Uh, not a huge amount compared. We've spent about, oh, 300,000 gills so far just on, you know, the materia. And it's going to take me a while to process all of this stuff. Uh, let's see. Any of these going for less than 3,000? Nope. Okay, so. 3,000 gill per materia. So, times 5, that's 15,000. So, if we do more than 15,000 gill per transmuted materia or transmogrified materia will be making a profit so let's take a quick look here and you can see in the history that someone's just bought out everything like these people must have been seriously rich because they pretty much single-handedly did a market correction overnight and that's crazy that's absolutely crazy but you know it's pretty lucky that it happened because I could make some serious profit off of this. Now, I'm not going to hold my breath because Materia Gambling, it's gambling. Sometimes it works, sometimes it really doesn't. But yes, anyway, we're going to take ourselves to Camp Drybone. Or no, Blackbrush Station, my mistake. I'm getting my locations confused. Anyway, we're going to go to Blackbrush Station, and we're going to visit a particular NPC who transmogrifies materia, five unwanted materia, into one brand new materia that you do want. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. It doesn't always work that way, but you know. So they're going to be right over here. In this tucked away corner of the map just leave dry bone head northeast into this little valley here and here we go mutamix bubbly pots and we're going to do transmute materia and we're going to put one of each kind Because that's the way I like to do it. I don't know if it increases the odds of getting good materia or not, or rather the materia I want or not. But I do it anyways. We agree to transmute. He does a little thingy thing. The big thing goes boom. And we get Craftsman's Competence. Yes, so that's one of the good materia that we want. And now I'm going to do this for all the materia in my inventory. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna take forever. But anyways, I'm going to cut the video here, and when I'm done with all of this, I will come back and I'll show you what we got. Stay tuned. Ah, <sighs> okay, our last batch of materia is going into the pot. I used some materia 5 just to get it out of my inventory. Let's see what we came out with. Eh, not bad. But we did get a pretty decent haul. Three Craftsman's Competence, two Craftsman's Cunning, two Craftsman's Command, and one Gatherer's Guile. So, let's head on back. And, uh, let's throw our stuff on the market. See what we got. Cross our fingers that in the... I guess 15 minutes or so. Has it even been that long? Anyways, in the time that we were away, the market didn't immediately crash again. It's 8 a.m. my time in California, where apparently the majority of players on this server are. It is 5 a.m., so I should be able to get the jump on the market. Fingers crossed, here we go. Now the Craftsman's Competence. Let's see. I can do... Hmm... 
forty to five hundred. I'm gonna be posting them up one at a time because if I sell them in stacks they aren't going to sell very much like at all people don't really buy stacks the craftsman's cutting let's see 80,000 there's a stack of two so I'm gonna do 84 500 I'm gonna do it one at a time whoops 84 500 craftsman's command uh 71 500 seems fair I'm gonna do one of them at a time and the gathers guile which is going to be ooh. Cutting it off by one gill, huh? Well, those are probably going to sell pretty quick, so I'm going to do 46,500. And hopefully, let's see. Oh yeah, I pretty much made my gill back just doing those. Uh, let's do this linen parasol she brought me. Hmm. Not bad. 19900 That seems about right. That seems like a fair price that'll get snatched up. The apple tart. Hmm. They seem to have been selling pretty well. Not a whole lot of high qual going. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this up for... 3,900. Maple leaf. Okay. Can't do any more on that. So there we go. Now, if all of that materia sells for the prices that I listed it at, I should come out with 8,500,000 or 600,000. So I'm not making a huge massive significant profit because I spent so much buying the materia but because I wasted so much materia and having to retransmute it in order to get the few crafting and gathering materia that I did get like I said gathering materia and doing the materia gambling thing it's it's great when the market is fantastic but when it's really volatile like this it's not so great so hopefully we do well I don't know. We'll find out. Thank you for joining me for this video. I'll see you next time.